Food illness outbreaks due to contaminated lettuce are not a great way to start the holidays. Today, I will share best practices for harvesting lettuce to reduce the risk of microbial contamination. I will also discuss the many ways that microbial contamination can occur in the garden. Good afternoon, I'm Angela Gardner, a program associate with the local, regional, and safe foods team at the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture. I am here at the campus garden located at the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. This garden has a lovely assortment of fall crops, as you can see around me. But first, let's take a look at the soil and water being used here in the garden. This garden is irrigated with city water, which has a low risk of microbial contamination. Other options for irrigation are well water and surface water. However, these sources have a higher risk of being contaminated due to the potential for microorganisms entering these sources. Using drip irrigation like we see here, instead of an overhead spray, also reduces the risk of contamination encountering plants. The less contact the water has with the plant, the lower the risk of contamination. Another component of the garden that should be managed for risks is the soil. To boost the nutritional, structural, and physical properties of soil, we had a variety of amendments, and each of which comes with a variety of microbial risks. The campus garden features a plant-based compost that is heat-treated. These two attributes indicate a low-risk product. Another way that microbial contamination can occur is through animal activity. Before a harvest begins, you should assess the harvest area for animal activity. Looking above, there are no wires where birds could rest. Further, the elevated height of the bed keeps some animals out of the plants. Visibly checking the bed, I do not see any animal activity like trampling or eating plants or evidence of droppings. Let's proceed with the harvest. Start your harvest with clean hands, a clean harvest bin, and a clean harvest utensil. When harvesting lettuce, use a single pass harvest. For loose leaf lettuce, cut the leaf at the base of the stem. For a head of lettuce, cut the plant at the base of the stem. Try to avoid contacting the soil with your harvest tools. Now you are ready to take your lettuce into the kitchen to wash and prep before consumption. Remember to wash your hands, the sink, and any utensils before handling the lettuce. You'll want to rinse the lettuce off with water, but using soap is not recommended. In this video, I provided a brief overview of risks associated with water, soil, wildlife, sanitation, hygiene, and harvesting. If you sell lettuce or would like to dive deeper into these topics, visit www.uaex.edu slash produce safety for information on upcoming produce safety grower trainings and resources.